Hi everybody, good morning. It is Lisa and I want to come on and film. I have a empties video for you guys. Um, as you see, I don't have everything. I have stuff that's sitting here. My bag is overflowing right now. I need to go ahead and do an empties video for you so I can go to the dump and take care of this and recycle what needs to be recycled. Um, it is early in the morning, guys. I am not fully awake. I'm trying to film this and I'm messing up big time. Like I said, I'm not awake yet. And I got my coffee. You know it. Mm. My daughter got me this for Christmas. I don't know if y'all can see it. She says, I don't need Google. I said, I don't need Google. My mother knows everything. <laughs> I wish I did. All right. Mm. All right, I want to do my empties video for you. Like I said, I need to get, go, uh, I have to go out to, today. It is early. It's like 6.30, six, you know, a little after 6.30 in the morning. I woke up just before 6, and I tried to go back to sleep, and I can't, and that's why I'm still in my pajamas. <coughs> Husband's still asleep. So, I figure, all right, let me come on and film this video really fast. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start with some patches. Um, I have been having, I'm sorry I didn't do an update on that one video. I don't remember which one it was. I was supposed to put an update in it of what was going on with my feet. I have arthritis really bad. That's it. Um, we're taking, trying to do steps like um, see what would help. Uh, I am getting cortisone shots. And my right one, which I have got cortisone shots before, um, I think this is my third one I've had, uh, because I have really bad bone spurs on the back of my feet, the, the sole, I guess, the heels, whatever you want to call it, and I get a lot of pain in that area, and I started getting a lot of pain in my left foot this year, it started, and I had x-rays done, and I have arthritis a lot of arthritis in it. I do have a bone spur. Yeah, there's a lot going on. I have just arthritis. Um, surgery right now is not an option. Uh, I have to do the other measures, like I have to get the cortisone shots. They also offer prosthetics, like inserts, uh, but my insurance doesn't cover it, and it's $250 for them. Yeah. And they also will offer me therapy before they even discuss anything with surgery, because surgery is a big step. It will have me out nine plus weeks um, and therapy and everything. So she said, she really, that would be the last option. So we're doing this other stuff to see if it helps. And the one thing I have been doing is buying patches. And putting the patches on my feet when I have to go to work because I stand on my feet all day. Um, these two are the ones that I have to stop getting. I did like them, but I'm having an allergic reaction to them. I noticed when I put these on my feet and I have them on my feet 10 whatever hours, um, I take them off, my feet will start getting red, um, and then they start itching. Probably do two to three days, but then after that, I have to stop for a while and let the redness and the itching go away. So, I'm having an allergic reaction. Oh, there's Lucy. Hi, Lucy. I'm having an allergic reaction. So, I had to try to find something else. Um, so, I really do like these. Um, but, I can't have my, my feet where the patches are all red and itchy oh it would itch so bad so i am looking for other stuff you always know i always do my icy hot patches i still like these i put these on uh, my knees i had them on my heels on my foot you know but i'm also looking for something else because these are temporary you know it doesn't have a long effect so i'm looking for something that will last at least 10 hours and I've been doing the Biofreeze, trying that, because sometimes these doesn't work, you know. I try the Biofreeze. Alright, Biofreeze is pretty good. It is pricey. 
uh, for a box of five large patches is like nine dollars. For these, the extra large, and I would get three extra large patches, which I would cut up. I would wind up getting nine out of them because I cut them in threes. Sorry for my cat. And these are like five dollars. So yeah, these are a little bit pricier, but it works better. Yes, it does. It does work better. I even went and got the gel, which I'm still using, so it's not empty. And <clears throat> excuse me. And I've been rubbing that on my feet before I put, because I do wear compression uh, stockings for my legs, and my legs are swollen really bad. So I wear those. I put, I put the gel on, and I haven't been needing to put this one on um, because the gel has been helping. And I'm also taking medication for it too so that helps sorry for that long information but these are really good i do like them i do like the biofreeze um gel that i've been using for my feet it does help and when i run out of it i know it's expensive like eleven dollars for a tube of it i think it's like three ounces yeah it's it's yeah, three ounces uh it's a gel but it works for me it does work and i would definitely repurchase it when I run out of that and I've already purchased another thing of those pal uh, pal patches sorry I've already got another bag up of those mm. yeah getting old really sucks let me tell you arthritis everything starts to hurt you just start falling apart and there's not much you can do about it all right I got some Claritin <clears throat> probably need one of those right now I buy these now. I don't buy the Benadryl like I usually do. Uh, the Claritin has really been a game changer for me because um, I was having very itchy skin, some reaction. I don't know what it. My, I don't know what was causing it. I never went and seen a professional about it. Um, I got Claritin one time because shop my shop Kick app had it where you buy it, you would get five. 500 extra points so I was buying like the small five pack for like I think it was like six bucks and I started using it and I've noticed <clears throat> like I said it's a game changer I don't have the itchy skin like I usually had um, so I buy them all the time now this is the only thing I use for my allergies and for whatever was making my skin itchy it doesn't do that I don't have the problem anymore um, not a severe I have it occasionally my back would itch because I'm not able to really properly like put lotion and moisturize it as good as I would like to but I haven't really had any other issues um, I still get the little breakouts you know if I scratch an area it would turn red because I have sensitive skin now so it's it's weird but the Claritin really does work I will I, I constantly repurchase it that's why that's in there because I repurchase another one and I have plenty you know I keep it I keep plenty of it um I'm not sure what this is oh this is my husband's uh his lotion we finally used up um I I like it I like this how it smells on them I can probably get squeeze some more out of there but it's not that much left so this is from the Bath Body Works I'm really not using the Bath Body Works on them anymore I'm kind of using the Beatman soap and then I use, uh, then my caregiver uses a suave bottle of uh, body wash when she gives him sponge baths. I give him showers. So when I give him a shower, I use my Beatman soap on him and he likes it. Hmm. I do have another bottle of Claritin. So it's been a little time since I've filmed a empties. I have my, um... That was a car or something. They just went by, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. My Olay Quench Ultra Moisturizer Shea Butter Body Lotion. I keep this in my shower. I use this as a wet lotion. Um, I Before I dry off, I take this and I put some on it. I definitely try to aim more for my, my back area because it's so hard to reach your back area and put lotion on it. So I use this a lot on my back area. And the back of my legs, my knees and stuff, my arm. Yeah, I put it on. I don't put it on heavy, no, because I do step out once I dry off. I do moisturize with my Beatman 1802 
what is it, whip body cream, body cream, or whatever, yes, body cream, so I do like this, I have one in my shower now, and I already have two backups of this, I keep this, I don't buy the Jergens wet skin anymore, I buy this, I get more for my money with this one, okay, enough of that, I have a couple of soaps that I have gone through, or that I'm either, I've went through, and I'm using them now, so, I have four of them, wow, yes, I have four, okay, oh, let's see, my one and true that I always use is my Vanilla Absolute that is in my shower, because I had to replace it, because I used my other one already, I love this stuff, I have a couple more back up already, and when I get low, I will, I will reorder the Vanilla Absolute, I do love it, it has a light vanilla scent, and that's what I like, I like vanilla, it's, it does smell good, uh, I got this for me and my husband, this is the new one I ordered, it's called Fresh Air, uh, I like the box, it's really cute, very fancy packaging, uh, this one has a lemon scent to it, and it's very nice. Um, like I said, it's more of a summer scent to me, so I still have a little bit left of the bar that's in my shower now that me and my husband use. Uh, once we use that up, I will be replacing it with a different scent for him, because it's, like I said, this to me, uh, the fresh air is more of a summer, spring kind of scent, and now that we're in fall, I'm going to replace it with something else. Once he's finished, we're finished using it. Uh, this is another one. This is the honey grapefruit that I have. I have this bar in my shower now. This one is a more floral scent. It has a very strong flowery scent. It is strong. Um, it's nice. I don't think I would repurchase any more of this. I have plenty of these soaps. I have these are the, like the little hand soaps, and you can tell this. Is lot bigger um this is a little hand soap they would sell for three for 18 and i have three more of these so the scent to me is a little strong um if you want to wake up this is the scent you use uh, but to me it's a little strong it smells too much like flowers it's not my favorite the vanilla absolute is my die hard one so, when I run out of these, I will not repurchase the honey grapefruit. It's just not my favorite. It's just, like I said, it's too strong. The scent is too strong. It smells too much like flowers. And I don't like strong flowery scents. This one I love for my husband. I want to purchase more of these. But I'm trying to use up <coughs> the beatings, a lot of the beaten soaps that I have. But I might just break down and get him some more. Because I love this scent. This is called the Dave Forth scent this is a man scent y'all can see that come on focus 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 it does not want to focus sorry about that there we are we getting a little focus but it's called day fourth this is definitely a man scent it smells good it has i don't know what it has in it i really don't know you have to go and look at beatman's maybe it has uh, the scent thing is like Go to Beatman 1802 or go into Home Shoppers and look at, up Beatman 1802 and you can watch some of their previews. Maybe it would have, like, what, what's in this scent is definitely for a man. Um, and I like this scent and I definitely want to get him some more of this scent because I like this scent. It smells good. Alright, I also have the box, the box, empty box. I, like I said, I'm using this now. It's the Whip Body Cream of the Fresh Scent. And I said it smells like lemon, which to me is a summer scent. Um, so, yeah. Once I'm done with the, that one, I will get something. I will put something else up for my husband. Also, Fresh, I'm oh, no, sorry, Thick Leaf. This is another good scent. I finished using this up for my husband. I like this scent. Like I said, it's just not my favorite. I finished using that up on him. I I have more. I have another one of these. I think I still have another bar of soap. Um, but I'm like I said, I'm trying to get into some other soaps for him. So that one I put away. But we finished that one off. 
I have a vanilla, I think this is a vanilla absolute. Yes, I do. I, so I think we're through some of these. Yep. Empty container of my vanilla absolute whipped body cream. Love this stuff. This is eight ounces, I think. Yeah, eight point zero six ounces or something like that. I didn't get the special one. I had a sixteen ounce tub. I wish I did. Ah oh, yes. I wish I would have got that on auto ship because it had three bars of soap and sixteen ounces of the vanilla absolutes and the body butter or something thing. I didn't. I didn't get it. It's like I'm not trying to, you know, spend a lot of money. Um, so I didn't get it, but. Do you love this? Uh, my Die Hard one, and I already have like two other ones backed up with soap. So if I get low, <clears throat> I'll get more. And I think I'm on auto ship for the body, the what the whip body cream, so I can get the same price as I got it when it was on sale. And I, but I'm not on auto ship for the the soap because the soap lasts me a while. Mm. Like I said, when I get low, I get more. Uh, oh, I love these wipes, the facial cleanser wipes. This is just the pure goat milk wipes. I finally finished up the, the 30 pack. I still, I'm still working on the last 30 pack because I got a, um, a deal where you can get four of the 30 packs. I believe it was $24. I kept three. I gave one to my boss because she also uses the Beatman products. And I gave one to her to try, and she said that she likes it. I don't know if she reordered anything. I asked her if she needed another pack, and she said no, because I did do the special where they had three packs that had a hundred. One was the pure scent. The other one, I think, I want to say the vanilla absolute, which that's my favorite scent. And I can't remember what was the last one. I can't remember, but I still have them. I haven't even broke into them yet because I'm still finishing off the 30 that I have. I also have a sweetgrass one, um, a small pack like this because I got the sweetgrass set. And I like these. These are really nice. They don't, this one doesn't have any smell. Um, the ones that have the smell I would do on my body, you know, underarms and stuff, you know. I'm just trying to get a little quick, uh, Refresh, you know, feel a little bit refresher. This one I like to use on my face because it has no scent. It's just a pure and it has no scent. And this one I use more on my face to remove makeup and stuff when I wear makeup. Let me tell you guys, it's been a while since I put on makeup. I just, I don't know, I just haven't been wanting to wear makeup. I don't know. Um, I have a thing for my husband. I need to get him some more of this, but he's using a different one now. The Suave. Uh, vitamin re vitamin whatever lotion. I don't know. Um, I get this one for him. I get the big bottles. Uh, and my caregiver will use this type. I he's using a suave shea butter or something like that now that I got him. Um, but this is what I get, and this is what I let her use uh, because we should get some sponge bash. S sponge bass. She has like I don't have any. Of his Schwab body wash. I don't have any. Because she's still working on that big old thing. And this is what I will let her. She uses his Schwab lotion. That he keeps on the side. <clears throat> in the bedroom. When she gives him sponge baths. So that was what he used. I set that on the floor. Because it's big. I have. I think I have a couple of hand soaps. It's not a lot, but it's just I have those big items. I have a couple of hand soaps. I have my favorite, the mango, coconuts, and I have an ocean splash. These were really nice. I do like them. Um, I keep repurchasing. I am right now working on a Bath Body Works one that I got a couple of years ago. I really have not been purchasing Bath Body Works hand soaps. Uh, they cost too much. Sorry, they do. Even when you have them on sale, they're three dollars. I can get these. I think this one's like 80 some cents. This can be a dollar something. I mean, so where am I going to go? I'm going to go down and get the cheaper ones. Um, I still do have some Bath Body Works 
soaps, but I have holiday ones. So that's why I'm trying to bring them out now. I'm using one in the bath, um, I'm sorry, one in the kitchen now, uh, pumpkin, cinnamon, or something. And then I'm, I do have, I think, a Christmas, some Christmas ones <clears throat> that I would be bringing out and using, but I'm, I don't plan on purchasing anymore. Um, there's just too much money. I mean, I got on that bandwagon and I started realizing what in the hell am I spending all this stuff, on, all this money for, for hand soaps. Um, $3 is a lot of money for a hand soap and that's on sale. So I just go and I get this, the cheaper ones and they work just as good as the expensive ones. So I have a thing of vitamins. Um, do you take, I try to take a vitamin every day. So I have one empty container of vitamins and now I'm on to my other container because it was a special. You buy one and get the other one 50% uh, off. So that's why I'm on the other one now. I have some Airborns that I, I use. Oh, I ran. I used the last one yesterday. I feel, I feel like I was coming down with a cold, headache, sore throat. Took some cold medicine. Took one of these. And I also had a vitamin C one. I took that. Woke up feeling a little bit better. I don't, I don't feel like I'm coming down with anything right now. I don't have a headache and I don't have a scratchy, sore throat. Which is good. I do have a jumbo cotton swab balls that I use um, for my warm warmers to take the wax out. Um, which that would be a separate video with my my waxes because I'll do a separate video because I'm not trying to make this too long right now. We're at almost 22 minutes and I have to hurry and finish because I know at 30 minutes my phone would cut off. It cuts off and restarts. I am getting rid of these. I got this. I don't know. Peter. It was Peter Thomas Ross. I don't remember where I got it. Um, I did use some of it. It's a red. I didn't see any benefits from it. I still even have stuff in here. But it, I've had it for a while. So I'm going to go ahead and get it. It reminds me of a jelly. Petroleum jelly, whatever I'm saying it right, like Vaseline. This this reminds me of. Um, I didn't see any results. I don't know what it was supposed to do. It's supposed to, I guess, it's supposed to help with fine lines. Um, I don't know. I just I don't even remember where I got it at. That's how long I've had it, and it's again, it's old. I've had it for years. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw it out because I'm not gonna use it. So I'm not gonna finish using it. So I'm gonna throw it away. I do have a, oh, I used a couple of masks, and I did use an eye mask. I did like the Iceland eye mask. It was very refreshing, you know, when I have time to do masks. And I used this anti-age mask from Alter Beauties. I didn't see no miracles, okay? No miracles. I have a thing of Benadryl. I, I mean, I still have Benadryl. I just don't use it as often as I used to. I used my Claritin now. So, that's gone. <clears throat> so, I have a whole... I think I have two boxes. I forgot I had some. I have an ointment. Oh, I got dust. This is a medical ointment um, for my husband I was using for his toes. He has his toes. He had, was having some issues with the ingrown toenails and stuff. And they gave me the medical ointment to use for him. These only last two that I have. Okay, this is all gone. And I he's on this other tube now. He's using that now when I have to use it. Right now his his feet are fine. Okay, I have a uh, dry shampoo that I think I got in an Ipsy bag or a Sephora play bag when I used to get that. I don't remember. I used it. It was all right. There was not a lot in here. I mean, this was this was funny. 1.15 ounces went fast. It was nice. It had a nice smell where I can remember. Yeah, it wasn't very strong kind of smell, so it was nice. Um, whatever we purchased, no, I have plenty of dry shampoos. I do have one of my Poopery lavender vanilla. Yeah. Lavender Vanilla. I keep this in my bathroom. You already know the story. I keep it in the bathroom. I use it all the time. It is 
you put spread some of that in your toilet before you go and you won't have that really bad odor because I do not have a vent in my bathroom. It's an old house. There's no vents. I don't even have a vent in the kitchen in the oven, so I get the grease splatters all over the walls. Yeah, I got, yeah it's, it's a very old house. Um, but I do like this, and I do repurchase it. I am planning on, I have a 20% off at Bed Bath & Beyond that I'm going to use and get me a big one to refill the one I have in my bathroom so I might be keeping this bottle and use that also to refill yeah all right enough of that you already know about that it's getting time is gone We've got a couple more items that are gonna be done another Beatman 1802 is their cuticle cream this is vanilla absolute I use these this on my cuticles I'm using their oil now too and I do like their oil I want to order some more um, this is good. This, I, I see, I scraped it out. When it gets down low, I would take my pinky and I would scrape it like this to get some out of it and then put it on. I do like this. I have one, I put this by my bedside and I use it and I keep, I already have another one backed up. I am now using their cuticle oil that I like too. And I do want to get some of that because I like to put one in my purse and I want to keep one here with my nail stuff. When I'm doing my nails, I can put that on my cuticles really fast. Then, the last thing I have is my Clinique uh, ID. This is for, I don't remember what this one, um, I think this one was for wrinkles or something. I don't remember what the purple one was. I finally used it up. I was using the gel for this one. I noticed that the gel was not hydrating enough. Um, I already have another one of these backed up. I haven't put away. I haven't opened it up yet because I'm trying to finish off. I have my Clinique Thirsty Gel one. I'm trying to use that up. I already have two more of those backed up. And I want to pull out my Origin that I have, Vitamin C one, that gen, the Gensine. I need to pull that out and use it because I've had that one for a while. I do like this. This to me is a holy grail uh, status. Um, but like I said, I'm trying to use up some other stuff first before I pull out my backup. Uh, my phone just did, I don't know what. I do like it, like I said, I like it. And I already have one back up. I just, last, the gel was not hydrating enough for me. I went ahead and got the lotion this time. Um, and I wish I could remember what the purple thing was. I don't remember. But I, I got the purple one again too. It's for it's for anti aging. I do like it, and I will repurchase it. So like I said, it's a holy grail item item for me. I will definitely have to do my holy grail item when I get a chance. But guys, that is it. We were I had to fly through it. I got twenty eight minutes into this video. I do hope you enjoy um, this one. I will get this one up pretty soon because this is the last of the videos that I have pre-recorded of my empty so this one goes up next all right everybody I'm gonna go ahead and get off here I'll go see what my husband if he's ready to get up and get my day going because I have a doctor's appointment foot doctor and I have to go back to my dermatologist to get stitches out of my little blackhead thing here yeah I had a little a blackhead that kind of in grew and it was there for like 30 some years I finally got that taken care of and got that removed uh, nothing they sent me a letter yesterday there's nothing to worry about it's fine because he did a biopsy because I knew it was a, just a blackhead that I just couldn't squeeze it out I know too much information all right I'm gonna go y'all have yourself a good day and I will talk to y'all very soon all right now all right bye for now